Hey, what's going on everybody and hello world. Today I'm waking up and I found out some really sad news in the cannabis community. A little girl named Charlotte Figgy has passed away because of the coronavirus and this is just really sad news. I wanted to go ahead and make a video on it. Uh, something that I've been following for quite a long time, probably since it first came out with Charlotte's Web. So I'll go into a very little bit of detail. This is from ColoradoSun.com. Uh, Charlotte Figgy was a young girl who had a serious medical condition, caused her to have you know hundreds or thousands of seizures, and uh, basically she was looking at her life ending at a very young age. Uh, and in, had it not been for her finding a strain of marijuana with high CBD, it was being grown by a couple of brothers called the Stanley Brothers. And they created this company called Charlotte's Web, one of the first high CBD uh, tinctures that was given to kids. Uh, and people started moving to Colorado just to get the Charlotte's Web strain. And that was uh, really, really impactful for me while I was in college learning for horticulture. I was like, man, you know, like this is crazy cool. And so here it is, Charlotte Figgy, the Colorado Springs girl. She was 13 when she passed away. I just turned 31. And it just makes me incredibly sad to see such a young girl die. And, um, you know, life is so fragile. And I'm so sorry to Charlotte's family. And, you know, anybody who is kind of following along also in her same shoes, you know, families that are have children, you know, that need this plant, that need this medicine. And maybe we're looking at Charlotte's success as... Uh, you know, a beam of hope. And I, I know I certainly was, and I don't even have, you know, medical problems like this. And uh, it's absolutely amazing, uh, just her story. And it's so sad that she's gone. So if you have never seen anything about Charlotte's Web before, please go and check it out. Um, they have amazing documentaries about this young girl. And uh, it's, yeah, she had Dravet syndrome, a rare and debilitating form of epilepsy that first appears when children are young. From the time she was just three months old, Charlotte had suffered hundreds of small and large seizures a day. Uh, and so it's a really, really crazy story. Unfortunately, she did just pass away on Tuesday night, and um, or it was announced on Tuesday night. So very sorry to the family. Uh, all the prayers and thoughts are with you. Thank you so much for sharing Charlotte with the world and her story. And I'm so sorry that her story has ended so soon. I hope everybody has a great day. And uh, stay inside with this corona coronavirus. Help, you know, do everybody do your part. Um, it's a really scary time. And I hope everybody can have, you know, some kind of ray of hope in their lives. You know, stay positive and keep moving forward, guys.